city of Elkhart is growing, but hundreds of people are against it. Elkhart is proposing phase two of its annexation process after phase one was approved without any opposition. That was attempting to add three more parcels of land in Elkhart County into the city. WSBT's Annie Chang joins us now. Nan, you found out there's a growing opposition to this and even some legal battles going on. That's right, Rick. As you mentioned, there are three neighborhoods up for annexation right now, and lawsuits have been filed against the city from all three. Now, take a look. Zone 6 includes all this highlighted area just south of the toll road. That includes more than 200 homes. Zone 7 covers hundreds of acres surrounding State Road 19 and Zone 8, includes a few dozen homes and businesses along the old U.S. 20. While homeowners in all three zones say this annexation is unfair, the city's response, it's perfectly legal. James Morawski's pride and joy is his home on old U.S. 20 in Elkhart County. But things could soon change for Morawski and his neighbors. I don't like being told what I have to do. I mean, this wasn't, that wasn't my choice. It's sort of like they're forcing it on you. And that alone kind of irritates me. I, I don't like being pushed. So his neighborhood is pushing back with a lawsuit against the city of Elkhart, which is attempting to take 16 areas from the county and make them part of the city. Morawski and other homeowners say it all boils down to the city trying to make more money. The city's doing this because they want to get money from, their, from the property that's adjacent to us. Forest River and other properties down the street have a higher tax rate, and they're after that money. I understand the city needs revenue, but they're just going about it uh, the wrong way, I think. Mark Underwood lives in Zone 6 of the proposed annexations. He and his wife gathered more than 180 signatures to file a separate lawsuit against the city for the same reasons. Just to run the sewer lines, it's going to be between eight and $10,000. So we're going to have to pay for that. The city ain't going to pay for that. The city's attorney, Vlado Vranyash, says the city can't comment on pending cases, but did say Elkhart is not breaking any laws by forcing property owners to be annexed. But just because it's legal, Morawski says, doesn't mean it's fair. Let's just not give up and say, oh, well, this is what happens. Let's, let's at least put up in a fight. Now, the city says January 1st is the target date to annex eight areas of county land, but these lawsuits could complicate things and possibly delay that timeline. Now, we also found out today that Indiana is one of only a few states in the country that still allows involuntary annexation. In the studio, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT Channel 22 News.